Are you sure you're supposed to eat this when it's hot? No, I was telling you you should probably let it go. Oh, but yeah, no, I can't taste anything because yeah, you my, burn your my roof of my mouth and my tongue is burnt. Good morning from Osaka. Watashi no namai wa Marion des. Watashi dashi wa the Taiko Bam. I'm still sleeping. Woke up at 10 because we were like up all night till 3. <laughs> we did yeah. check into our hotel till 1. It took a while for us from the airport to getting to our Airbnb just because we had to like figure out the train, get our little cards for the subways. We pretty much just kind of just jumped ourselves into all, um, you know, trying to figure everything out on our own. And it was fine. Like everything was pretty helpful. You just definitely got to ask questions and use Google Translator. That definitely helps you. For the most part, some people speak a tiny bit of English to feel the weather. Like right when we arrived, we're like, oh my God, it's super cold. It's just such a big drastic change from the hot humidity in the Philippines. So it's just nice to be back in cold weather again. It, Ty said it feels like what? Feels like America? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, it feels like we're in America again. Uh, other than that, we're gonna have some breakfast. We already raided the, some of the convenience stores. There's a Lawson right nearby our Airbnb. Family Mart, and Family Mart, yeah. And so got a whole bunch of onigiri. The kids is, are loving it. Another? Yeah, we got more. <laughs> Kona's like, more? Yeah, so Daddy grabbed some more this morning. Daddy got me a iced matcha oh, latte. Yeah, Last night our flight came in, you know, pretty late, so not a lot of pocket Wi-Fi airport services were open, or no, nothing was open. Yet. So we're gonna go out today, <clears throat> go to one of the pocket Wi-Fi stores, just so that we have like Wi-Fi on the go, and uh, you could rent it for like however many days you need it. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, um, or if you guys don't know, I am actually part Japanese. I'm not fully Filipino, so I'm like a quarter Japanese. My grandma is Japanese, so I grew up with some like. Japanese culture in our family and so we're really excited to finally be bringing our kids here to Japan to get to know a little bit more about their little like one-eighth of letter of Japanese culture and just you know expose them to a whole new thing that you know they never got to experience. Jerry and I have been to Japan a few times but um, this is the kids first time and they're super stoked to visit the Universal Studios theme park here in Japan so we're gonna be doing that in a few days. So we're gonna be building our itinerary for the week um, on top of Universal. We're hoping to go to Kyoto, um, Nara, and um, some other places. So we're gonna be checking out Osaka, of course, the, the Tonbori area. He's excited, you excited, Kona? Yeah? Well, Come and follow along, we'll see you in a bit. Gotta eat breakfast first. It's our first day of exploring and we're ready to dive into the bustling streets of Osaka. We gotta take the brown line. Same line we took last night. Make sure you beep in. Beep. Yeah, boy. It was obvious that mommy should be the official navigator and translator for the family. There's a bit of a learning curve if you're not used to taking subways. And to be honest, it definitely has been a while. But I eventually got the hang of it. Luckily, Google Maps was my best friend. Mission accomplished. So we just got a pocket Wi-Fi, 50 gigs, and 150 megahertz. Unlimited until 50 gigs. So we're here for several days. Hopefully that's enough. And then after we're done with it, or when we're about ready to go home, we'll just yeah. drop it off at a yeah. mailbox. It's cool, they give you like a free self-addressed uh, package. Like an envelope? Yeah. So that you can mail it at any like post, post box, mailbox. I mean, they have one at the airport too that we've seen. What was the name of the place? Uh, Wi-Fi Pocket Rental. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi Pocket Rental. There's two of them. Just look it up in Google. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're here outside right now. We're going to go head out to the mall. Well, what is it called? We're going to go head out to the Tonbori Namba area. Sounds good. All right, you agree? Go. And we're going to walk. Okay. We're not taking the train. Agree? What? Huh? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> taking a video of Daddy. Taking a video of a car. <laughs> Daddy loves his Japanese cars. Oh, it's a Skyline. Yeah. yeah. You know, Daddy used to have a Skyline. Oh, he did? And it was a Japanese one, too. We had one of these in our garage in Roseville. How much did they cost? Oh. Um, okay, yeah. A lot. lot. <laughs> That's the one that we had in our garage. <laughs> no, this is the newer one, the, the uh, 34. Okay. I had the 33. You had, like, the old school one. Yeah. Classic. As we approach the streets of Namba, we already see a variety of restaurants. 
The hardest part is deciding where to eat. A fishing restaurant suddenly piques our interest. So at this place, um, you can actually fish for your food, and then you um, have them cook it. So it's like fresh in a tank, and it's kind of fun. Like that's the thrill of it. And if you can't catch anything, then you can just like order. <laughs> you want scallops? I want to go here. So we're gonna try it today, and that way we don't have to go so far today. And then we're gonna try to explore more of the tondri later. But we're in Namba right now, so. We're gonna come check it out. The kids wanna do it. They wanna do something interactive. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out. Alright, so we got our bait. They gave us bait at the table. Jerry's gonna help Kona get some fishies. Just put it in the water. There you go. Somebody will go for it. It's cheaper when you fish for your own fish and then they'll cook it any way you like it, sashimi style, grilled, boiled. You can get it up to two ways to get it cooked so you can like, you know, half it. Keep in mind the more fish you buy, get, you have to eat it, you have to pay for it, you can't uh, just take home a fish or anything. So that's all part of the experience. And you can also order off their menu. They have a menu and it's in English. Um, you just scan the QR code. This is a hard Kona. You just gotta be patient. Oh, look at it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, 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 you got it. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Good job, Kona. <laughs> <Woo>. Yay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you got one, Kona. Good job. Let's see. Yay, we got fish. Yay, we got a meal. They scan the, your table number. <laughs> Alright, good job, Kona. <laughs> we can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. We're moving still. Poor guys. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're alive? Yeah. That's how fresh it is. They were like slow alive. Crazy. Oh, that looks good. Ooh, a shark. You can catch that guy? I'm gonna catch him with those little fishing poles. Mm, got it. Well done. Gonna cross over. So now we're gonna cross over, head over to Dothonbury. So we're here at the Tonbori. See how it's a lot more cracking over here? This is where Japanese like known street foods, I guess. Yeah. Of Osaka especially. That takoyaki that's like known here. Everybody's here. It's the, the main eating hub. You can't go to the Tonbori without checking out Don Quixote which is one of Japan's largest discount stores, and its yellow Ferris wheel is an iconic landmark of this area of Osaka. Inside the store, you'll find several floors of every kind of item imaginable. It can get pretty overwhelming at first, but it's a great place to buy gifts and souvenirs. This is the toy section. Oh, look at Gengar. See the characters here you can't find like back home. Diggy. Oh look at they have like all the characters here. They got Eevee. I'm surprised they have like characters that you wouldn't like find. Look at all this guy. In other places. Look at it. Is this a uh, Vaporeon or something? Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Mm. Look at all the different flavor of Kit Kat. Kit Kat. There's apple. What is this? Oh, is that red bean? Oh maybe, huh? Look, melon. Here. Melon. Hazelnut. Hazelnut. I wow. think that's vanilla or something. Oh, and then the one, this one's Grand Cracker. Wow. This one's Kit Kat. <laughs> and this one's Mochi, I think. Oh, the love. Oh, 
Huh? Do you want to try this wasabi flavor? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Matcha, matcha. 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 I've tried that matcha. Yeah. I think I've tried melon. It's actually pretty good. As day turns into night, the streets get livelier with more tourists. Your Detonbury bucket list wouldn't be complete without getting a picture with the iconic billboard of the Glico Man. Hey, we found the Glico Man. There he is. What's up, dude? There's a lot of people coming out now. All right, Kona? Yeah. Too much? Yep. Kids are getting a little tired. We might have to head home soon. Here, I got my camera. Get in there. Go, go, go. Get in there, scoot over. <laughs> ah. <laughs> We're in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot the name of this guy. But it's that clown, he's everywhere. <laughs> Hello. Cute. <laughs> Like, see, they even got like the bean cakes. There you go. Oh, they have custard. Look at it. They got everything. Oh, look, this is more like the Squid Game cookie. <laughs> there it is. Man, look at this. They got boxed takoyaki. Before our day ends, we can't leave without eating some takoyaki. Hi, thank you. Hi, I think Very hot on it. Okay. <laughs> Grab one of those um toxic. Ooh, look at that. Let's try it. Where is Dada? Hold on. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's still hot. Yeah, be careful. It's really hot, and the inside is hot. So. Just blow it a lot. It's hot. It's hot. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 You're like a dragon. <gasps> Let's to the side like a dragon. <laughs> it's hard to enjoy when it's too hot. Alright, so what do you think? Can you talk now? <laughs> it's still hot, right? Did you burn your mouth? <laughs> oh yeah, Konamon. It says Konamon. The first thing that picked in was the ginger flavor. Mm. Is it, does it have teriyaki also? It might be. something. It's kind of like sweet and savory. It's hard to... Overall, it's good. It's good. Does it have a lot of... Uh, I was thinking that the texture is going to be crunchy, but then yeah. when you bite into it, it's actually really creamy inside. Yeah. And of course, the, the crunch from the octopus. Yeah. It's really good. I like the octopus. Like, it makes it... Uh, when they put a lot in there, it's... Uh, there's a big piece. There's one, but it's a big yeah, piece. Yeah, it's very like, it's not just all breading. Ooh, that was hot. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you're supposed to eat this when it's hot? No, I was telling you, you should probably let it go. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, I can't taste anything. Yeah, you my, probably burn your tongue. My roof of my mouth and my tongue is burnt. <laughs> your turn. Okay. All right, it's ready. Okay, so yeah, like what Jerry said, you would think it's like crunchy, but it's not. It's, it's very it's like crunchy. It's still smoking. Like, like Be careful. Spongy? Yeah. But I do like how there's a lot of pieces of octopus in there. It's like really meaty. So I had this plain once before, but I, I wanted to have the full experience with the sauce. Oh. <laughs> it's still hot, huh? <laughs> the sauce kind of reminds me of like a barbecue sauce. Like a teriyaki barbecue sauce. It's good with the, the pieces of octopus to make it all worth it. Definitely something you should try. This is actually original in Osaka. Like, takoyaki comes from Osaka, so it's like a must try. It's their known street food of here. Okay, it's awesome. Enjoy. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs>
。ありがとうございます。イエーイ、what is it。はい、we'll open it later。Hey, hey, we are finally back. We had a long day of walking. These guys were getting tired. <laughs> right, kids? Yeah. Look, he's like already back in his pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> finally, treating myself to a little dessert custard. So, Kona said he has a hack that he saw where you can flip it without it.、Um, or he said he saw it. But you flip it and somehow it doesn't break or whatever. So, we'll see. It's like Leche Flan, see? The Japanese version. So, thanks again, guys.、Um, we'll see you guys in the next vlog and keep you guys up to date. Thanks for following. Like and subscribe.